Hello, Michael. Calvin. It's the only reason he's tardy is because he's stuck in the it's like all of a sudden on Friday everybody decides they want to get coffee so he's stuck in the line okay. and I, listen when I used to go to when there was only like four Starbucks in the area when I used to go to the right. North Shore right. on my way to work right. and I would get I would order and then there would be three cars in front of me and then there would be three cars behind me and then you can't get out of the line you're stuck in the line because you want to leave and you want to go right so they used to pull up to work and I'd see my boss when he drove around just to come out and six o'clock in the morning Starbucks, what is like an average five bucks? That's a lot. Like if you make it at home, yeah, it's just like anything. If you make food at home or anything, but uh, five bucks is a lot for coffee. Yeah, fifty-three cents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, how much is tea? Fifty-three cents. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the tea. I went to. Uh, I went, dropped my daughter and my wife off at my daughter's school yesterday. I turned around and went to Starbucks, got me a Trenta cold brew. They got my wife a uh, grande, whatever, whatever she gets. Uh, she just gets like espresso or whatever. But, um, turned around, drove back to the school, parked, walked up, went to the door, and the guy goes, I'm sorry, can't bring any drinks anymore. And I looked at him, and I went like this. I looked at him, and I went, and I just sipped it in front of him. And then I turned around, and I threw it in the garbage. And then I think he thought I was being a dick, and I turned around, and he goes, have a nice day. I said, yeah, you too. And he goes, I'm sorry. And I go, it's not your fault. I, go, it's, uh, I wasn't mad at him. Yeah. Just what, I didn't realize it. And I go, I guess it probably should have thought maybe they don't want food in the gym or whatever. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but that was it. But the, so that was right there. That was $12, $11 that I had to throw away. Uh, and then after that, uh, I still wanted to throw it back. So, uh, and then he went back to the trash can. <laughs> <laughs> How many do you drink a day? Two, maybe. Like, do Gio brings one in the morning. Right. And then maybe in my travels, I'll get one more. Like, usually in the afternoon, I go pick up Juliana from school, and I'll go get one, because I'm that's an hour-long process. Sometimes more, though, right? Because, like, yes, yeah, it depends times, on how whatever. much I'm traveling during the day. You know what I mean? If I'm right. running around and I'm doing things, uh, I'll, I'll maybe three, you know? Yeah. But it's... um. You couldn't have... Uh, I, I don't know. How long were you in there with, with the coffee until you got done? You know what I mean? When you throw it away. And oh, yeah. I mean, it's, a, it's usually the size no, of No, no, no. But yeah. I mean, how long were you in the place for? You got the coffee, threw it away, and then how long until you went back uh, to your car? About an hour. Oh, so you couldn't have put it in your car? And no, good. It was just 9 melted. million degrees, yeah. this thing. Yeah. And the problem is, once the ice melts, it's gross. It's yeah. all water. It's all water. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. It, was, it was bad. So yesterday was uh, double graduation day. Both of my kids graduated. Yeah, congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Moving on up. No, no. I, uh, I, I mean, I kept it together. I did not cry. Yeah. Um, but I was close on Joey's because I was like, that idiot finally. <laughs> he did it. Yeah. He made it. So happy. I you did your job. You're done. My, my father-in-law has given me two of the greatest pieces of advice I've ever gotten, and he's not an advice giver. You know what I mean? He's, he's kind of like sometimes I look at him and I go, how did you live this long? And he has given me two of the greatest pieces of advice. One is, when we had kids, he said, your job is to keep that kid alive till he's five years old. Yep. And I go, what do you mean? He goes, five years old, and after that, it's on him. He goes, your job is to keep him alive till he's five. And yesterday, I felt like we did it. We got all the way through high school. He's done now. I am, I am, it is, what is that, May 24th? We are less than three months away from him being 18 years old i have achieved my goals you're off the hook you're off the hook yeah you could die and he's fine oh, oh my god, god. No. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm do that. you know it's funny you said what do you think is the year i don't know how close you are we you're gonna die with the oh, this one probably <laughs> no what is the year that that you think that uh in your life if your parents died you'd be fine oh i don't think there is one yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't mean fine like uh, 
uh, you wouldn't miss them or anything. I mean, find where you don't need them for help anymore. Oh, yeah, I would say probably somewhere in your 30s, really. 30s, 40s, yeah. 40 was like, like 40, 41 is when I was the most solid of an adult for the first time. And I thought if my parents died now and I was alone, like, uh, I could get along okay. I don't yeah. have to rely. Not that I was doing anything we were relying on them for anything other than me babysitters, you know what I mean? Yeah, my parents, uh, you know, my dad, uh, both of my parents, whenever uh, I was going to buy a house, they did it for all of us. They said they'll match our down payment, match, which was great. Yeah, which was a huge help and stuff. So, what if you going to keep up 100 grand? Yeah, well, he's that. He's that. Uh, but also, uh, I always tried to not take money from them. Like when I was on my own, I told you my dad gave me a, a gas card yeah. and I tried not to use it for the longest time and I, you know, finally broke down and used it. But I never I wanted to borrow money or get money from them. I wanted to be out on my own and make it, you know, regardless of whether that was me eating tuna straight out of the can for, yeah. you know. We it's just, interesting. I had the same sort of thing, but only because my mother didn't, my mother didn't have any money, so I never wanted to take her money. And then all of a sudden you realize at one point in your life, you're the one paying for dinner when everybody goes to dinner. You're like, yeah, that happened. Yeah, I like it. And then I remember uh, some other people in my family would be like, yeah, let me ask you a question. If you had a lawyer and whatnot, I'd be like, what are you asking me for? I could barely pay my own car insurance, but yeah, I became that person that everybody comes to now for that. See, I loved when I was able to take my dad out to dinner. Yeah. Like, that was cool. You know what I mean? That was just one of those moments. Like, I was good and had a job, and he, he was obviously trying to pay and stuff like that, but I was right. like, I got this, Dad. Right, I felt right. so cool. I was like, I got gotcha. you. Right. Yeah, that's a great. I took my grandmother and my mother to Burns one time, and that is, you know, I was in my 40s, but that's still like a great feeling. Yeah. 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 Did you do the uh, pay for, like, you go, let me go to the bathroom real quick. Yeah. Go over and pay the uh, waiter. Yeah, yeah, I had to because my dad was, like, waiting every time the Absolutely. server came back. Absolutely. Like, yeah. yeah, and they're like, oh, sorry to take care of yeah. it. Yeah. And he looked at me, he's like, you did it. I was like, yeah, I did. Of course, he's like, I am so happy I should have let two girls free today. Yeah. 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 You <laughs> saved girls, Carmen. Your hard work saved. It's a innocent girl. It's a innocent girl. Set two girls free. Yeah, celebrate you, <laughs> we all did it together, guys. Man. Round of applesauce. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. So, hey, uh, when is your son's graduation? Saturday. Next Good. Saturday. Good luck. Yeah. Welcome to join us. Thank you. Uh, I'm not going to Starbucks anymore. No. <laughs> I this is the last night. Yeah, we have to have a meeting. Of the no. it's, it's too stressful. It's just, um, I, re I have to rely on other people, and it's... Uh, uh, you're going to the wrong one. Maybe. Yeah. You got to go to the Collier one. That's what I went to. Sorry, not Collier. Uh, you're free. You're going to celebrate yourself. We all did it together, guys. Man. Round of applesauce. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. So, okay, uh, when is your son's graduation? Saturday. Next Saturday. Good luck. Uh, yeah. Welcome to join us. Thank you. Uh, I'm not going to Starbucks anymore. No. <laughs> I just did. This last night. Yeah, we have to have a meeting after the no. show. <laughs> it's, it's too stressful. <laughs> it's just, I have to have to rely on other people, and it's... Uh, uh, you're going to the wrong one. Maybe. Yeah. You, know, you got to go to the Collier one. That's the one I went to. No, I'm sorry, not uh, Collier. Uh, that's the one I go to. 54. That's the way to go. I'll try it because this is not going to done. It's yeah. adding too much stress to my life. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Um, I don't want to get your coffee anymore. Oh, my God. Oh, no. I don't shine shoes no more. I know they told you. All right. Well, that was the reason he's out. Yeah. 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 You guys just got a new job. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We're too far, man. Oh, man. It's the worst. <laughs> what, is the, uh, what is the new hat over there? Oh, it's like that. Oh, like it. I haven't seen that before. Did they send that to you? Yeah. <laughs> Gio gets everything, though. <laughs> we did send it to him, but uh, he gets to wear it for three days, and then Spanish, and then me. Oh, we yeah, have yeah, to pass yeah. it around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they call me dizzy for some reason. Yeah, that's <laughs> always weird. Jeez. I, um... We're having, I guess, uh, CMG day at the Lightning. You guys going? I mean, at, at the Rays. At the Rays. Yeah. Rays up, yeah. of course. Yeah. I, um, I was invited personally. <laughs> I was invited too. Yeah, I was invited, but uh, we all were invited. I also don't. Yeah. I also don't like baseball. Yeah. Uh, it's just a day to hang out with the coworkers. Yeah, I was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to say I don't like my coworkers. <laughs> you don't want to eat hot dogs with uh, Ann Kelly and open mouth salad. Listen, Ann Kelly is fantastic. That yeah. is true. Open mouth salad—that's a whole different story. Yeah. 
I think I'd feel like I'd just be throwing hot dogs into his mouth like a clown. <laughs> you almost, you almost, I was swallowing right as you said that, and I almost yeah. spit it out. As he fights to get on the Jumbotron, no, oh, 100 <laughs> dancers. <laughs> <laughs> Real showboat there. I can't wait to yeah. raise up. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> but that's also the thing. That's one of the biggest things. One of the biggest drawbacks to any kind of, you know, like. They do this to, you know, company morale. And, hey, everybody get together and they, they get great food and they do stuff like this. And if you like baseball, you go and see the Rays and you get the hot dogs and, you know, hang out with everybody. Yeah. The problem is. The people, and it's not all of the people, but it's just, just be normal. Just like, <laughs> like, like stop being on and yeah. doing your stuff. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you're turn it off. Yeah. Yeah. I get it if you're, you know, on a top forty station, and you, you can't be on a top forty station and be like, that was the weekend, and uh, here's whatever. You know, <laughs> Spanish voice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, but I mean, I get it. You got the music bed, and uh, that's new music from the weekend, and you're excited about it, and you're trying to get the people excited. But in real life, relax. We're not always filming a TikTok. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's what I. That's how I feel about those people. They're always trying to be like get videoed or photoed or you know. And what I mean? if like, you're over thirty, stop trying to use the cool <laughs> language. And, you know what I mean? Just like all that stuff. It's Work. just yeah, it's, yeah, get rizzed up. The change. Have some glizzies. <laughs> I had to Google why people are calling glizzies. Glizzy's. Glizzy. Hot dogs. This is the first time I've heard of this. What is a glizzy? Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Oh, really? But also, it's a gun. Yeah. Like, I'm going to get them on my glizzy. It's somehow like more Glock. Yeah. Glizzy. Yeah. yeah. But where has it translated to a hot dog? It's somehow it was in a, a wrapper and they started calling those hot dogs. So now, hot dogs? Like, I know the terminology. Like, I, I'll pick up on things. Like, the other day I said Carmen was the plug or whatever. Like, I know those things and I say it as a joke. Yeah. Like, jokingly, but there's people that use it like as part of their vernacular and like, oh yeah, this is how I speak. And I was like, that's how I know I'm old. I, I'd heard it being used a couple times. I'm like, what is that? And I literally Googled why is the hot dog? And the top three things. So, I'm not going person. Did it come back? This is why, old man. Yeah. Hello, Grandpa. Welcome back. I've never even heard it. That's how old I am. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what you're at. You're real old. I said I was talking about it. I think earlier this week, whenever I was saying about the people that do that, the faces and stuff, yeah, and the yeah. one guy who was eating, doing the glizzies and doing all that stuff. I was like, oh, so I had to Google it. Google it. Wow, yeah, it says one theory for the term's evolution to include hot dogs is that it make that it comes from the extended magazine of a pistol, yeah. which is about the length of a hot dog. <laughs> Get them glizzies, I believe. <laughs> really, a long way to go to get a glizzy. Bitches and hoes. Doing the right? Wouldn't it be great if we found out Geo is like that at home? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which Chad said there's a new social media app all the kids are using. Not Instagram, Facebook, like, uh, any of those, not all the ones that we know. To find hot dogs? No, but it's just a new social media platform, but he doesn't know, and he can't figure it out. And none of them will tell him what it is, but it's like a new icon, and he sees it, but he doesn't know what it is, and he can't, like, find it. And yeah, because there's a lot of stuff that we're not using that 